but just in time. We finished clearing out the Vashrock and the remaining chiefs are waiting for me to address them. But word of Karag's death is spreading through the city like wildfire. I don't know how the people will react to the news. Not completely. I'm sure there are still pockets of deluded cultists hiding throughout the countryside. We'll deal with them eventually. Right now, I need to figure out what to do with the clans that lost their chiefs. And with this damnable city. Kurog dreamed of a united awesome nation. Of all orc clans standing shoulder to shoulder as equals with the other races. Despite everything that happened, I think he's going to get his wish. It will all become clear in time. Right now, I need to talk to the chiefs. Figure out how we're going to stabilize the clans without the need for more death and destruction. If you're up to it, I have one more favor to ask of you. You came to Rothgar to help Kurog unite our people and rebuild this great city. Despite how we got here, you accomplished everything the king asked of you. Now I have a request. If you're willing to provide one more service to the orcs. This last favor is of a more personal nature. I want to give Kurag a proper funeral, to honor him for the warrior and leader he was, and not the crazed despot he turned out to be. I do. Kurag was my friend once, and he was a great orc before his ambition got the better of him. Besides, the people need to know the whole truth, the good as well as the bad. A traditional orc requiem is just what we need to get past this. Take these notes and deliver them. Everyone should be somewhere in the city. Make them listen to you. Get them to attend Kurog's funeral. Meanwhile, I'll make sure everything is prepared for the ceremony. On your way back, after you've delivered the letters, stop by the King's Corner Club. Speak to the barkeep and get a bottle of Kurog's favorite ale. It's foul stuff, but he loved it. We'll use it to drink to his memory at the service. Happy? What an odd question. To tell you the truth, I never thought I'd live to see the city rise again, but I've been wrong before. You're a good example of that. If you're asking if I'm proud of what Kurog created, then yes, I guess I am. The thought has crossed my mind. At least under Kurog as part of the Daggerfall Covenant, we were considered strong. We had allies. That's something I need to think about. I used to dismiss Kurog and his deals with our enemies. Now I'm not so sure. Emmerich's agreement was with Kurog, not the clan chiefs. We need to discuss our options and make a decision. Hopefully before the next siege camp sets up outside our walls. Mostly to people you know. People who helped us stop Kurog and the Vashrak. There are also a few friends of mine. We trained together not long ago, but they recently returned to Rothgar. I want them to see what happened here. There's Bizra, who rarely removes her war paint. She'll tell you to tusk off, but give her the letter anyway. The other one, he's a unique character. Has a code of honor all his own. If Bizra is here, he won't be far from her side. The chiefs and I discussed this. We think it's better to remember Kurog for who he was rather than vilify him as a tyrant. We honor the orc I knew as a friend. Not the one I fought with as a rival and an enemy. We fought side by side long ago. When he left Rothgar to become a mercenary, I went with him. It was a glorious time. But I had responsibilities to return to. When next I saw my friend, he was making his own challenge to become chief of his clan. Kurog struck a deal with High King Emric 
agreed to support the Breton ruler in Rancer's war in exchange for the return of Hrothgar. That's when he declared himself king. Some of us were furious with him, but his actions saved countless lives. Task off! I've got no time for beggars or dishonest traitors, and I'm in the mood to throw someone into the river. So walk away before we find out if you can swim. Oh, really? I was certain the old bastard had forgotten his battle companions. In our day, we cut a bloody path across elsewhere in High Rock. But why'd Bosrog send you, I wonder? A letter? For me? My companion should be along at any moment. Wait until he finds out Bosrog is a chief now. A chief with his own private messenger. He'll plop a brick! Well, I'll be a harpy's uncle. I never expected to see you here. Are you a sight for sore eyes? What brings you to the arse end of Malakath's wasteland? No, you don't have to answer that. I can guess why you're here. This is just the kind of place that attracts people like you. You can't help yourself. Well, I don't know Chief Basrog, but Basrog the Butcher? Him and me go way back. We were all part of Gaspar's Stalkers, the best mercenary company to ever fight its way across Hammerfell and elsewhere. But you don't want to hear old war stories. Let me see that. Interesting. So Basrog wants to give Kurag a traditional Orsimer Requiem, does he? I heard that the king was dead. I guess this confirms it. But I'll be a harpy's hairdresser if I can figure out how you're involved in all this. I suppose the job of King Slayer pays well. You could have sent word. Me and my crew haven't exactly been turning away offers with a stick, you know. You couldn't take a moment to send a message to old friends? Yeah, well, maybe Basrog can set us up with work after the funeral. I'll have to ask him about that. I hope they're going to have food at this thing. By all the snot and Malakas right nostril. I never thought I'd be returning to attend a royal funeral. Maybe if I had been here, I could have talked some sense into Kurog's rock-hard head. I'm glad to see that life still courses through your body. I'd be extremely out of sorts if you turned up dead. And I heard what happened. You have my thanks for keeping Chief Bosrog safe. I'd be even more upset if my husband had died. Not everyone has the luxury to run off on an adventure whenever the mood takes them. I had the foreign survivors to deal with. They had to be gathered up and given shelter after the attack on our stronghold. A letter? How intriguing. What does it say? My husband plans to hold a funeral for Kurog? I suppose that makes sense. They were good friends once, before Kurog put that tight crown upon his head. I'll join Bosrog as soon as I can. I'm glad you're here. Saves me the trouble of finding you. Before I return to the Somerset Isles, I want to thank you for not killing me back at the Vashrak Temple. I appreciate that. I think I would have found death to be very boring. The High Priestess was an inspiration. Her legacy will live on, in our memories and in the memories of everyone in Orsinium. As hard as it is to accept, the simple truth is that you can't save everyone. You just have to try. What's this? A funeral? And I'm invited? Splendid! That will give me a chance to say my farewells to everyone all at the same time. Still, a funeral for that mad despot. I hope Chief Buzzrug knows what he's doing.
I don't think you should be here. I don't want any more trouble. I heard the king was dead, and I'm sure you had something to do with it. So leave us out of it. No, I don't want anything. Not from you, not from Chief Bosrog. I just want me and my father to be left alone. You just won't take no for an answer. Oh, all right, let me see that. A funeral? For the king? And the chief wants me to attend? That's... I'd be honored. I wonder if I have time to get a nice dress. I'm going to miss this place. The temple has become a more somber place since the death of the High Priestess. Solgra was a good woman. She cared about our people, and hoped to spread Trinamax's word. I know she also considered you to be her friend. The temple is going to be rededicated to Malakath now that King Kurag and the Forge Mother are gone. It's a shame, but I can't blame the clan chiefs. Not after what the Vashrak did. What's this? A funeral? For Kurag? I'd be honored to represent Solgra and the temple at this solemn event. Not because I have any love for the Mad King, but because I see Bosrog's wisdom. The city needs to heal. I'll do what I can to help with that. The High Priestess used to study here. Read her books, write her sermons. Now she's gone, and it feels like I've got a hole the size of Elden Root right in the middle of my chest. Damn right. We won, but the High Priestess died. That's awful, and it makes me so angry. It just isn't fair. But you obviously came here for another reason. Sorry I got so emotional. What's up? A letter? Isn't that how all this trouble started in the first place? But I guess I might as well see this through to the end. And you'll be there, right? Me and you, once more into the breach. Hopefully without anyone trying to kill us this time. No sad faces. Not in here. This was Korog's happy place, and that's how it's going to stay. To Korog. To Orsinium. May the city always remember the kind and gentle king who cared for his people. Everything else? That was his mother's fault. A funeral? No one tells me anything. I came to this wretched land because of Korog. He set me up with this tavern, and I'll always be grateful to him for that. You want the ale? Let's make a deal. I'll give you a bottle of Kurog's favorite ale. I'll give you a whole damn barrel of the stuff. But only if you let me attend his funeral. I want to honor him. Say goodbye. Let me do that, and I'll make sure you have plenty of the ale he loved. Thank you. I'll have the ale delivered to the keep. And I'll see you at the funeral. It'll be one last party for the king. Old friends, I'm glad to see you. This is very important to me. I'm just sorry I missed all the action. It looks like you could have used another hand or two. Bum nog and hands. I think it's an obsession. I have never attended a funeral before. Things like this, they don't happen where I come from. I don't know why I'm here exactly. I'm just an innkeeper's daughter. Still, it's kind of nice to be rubbing elbows with all these celebrities. I just hope they don't expect me to say a few words. I can't believe Kurog's actually dead. 
He was just at the tavern yesterday, eating and drinking, carrying on like he didn't have a care in the world. I miss the big horker already. The High Priestess. She looks so peaceful now. I think she'd appreciate all this attention. He turned me into a messenger when I first arrived. But I never suspected the king was a villain. I guess no one is above greed and corruption. Kuron was always headstrong, confident. These things I've heard he did, that's not the Kurog I knew. Not the mercenary I fought beside and trusted my life to. It just doesn't make any sense. My husband cared about Kurog in his own way. I know he shouldn't feel this way, but he's disappointed that events forced you to slay the orc who would be king. May Trinimac watch over all those who have fallen and guide them to their next reward. Thank you for gathering, everyone. It's important that they're all here to see what happens next. We proceed with the funeral. The ceremony is as much about Kurog and the others as it is about the future of the city, of the awesome of people. Everyone will want to be here for this. Don't worry. I'm not planning anything as audacious as Kurog. Everyone in the city has a choice to make, but it will be peaceful. Nothing will be forced upon them. No more harm will come to the Orsimer. You have my word on that. I can't forget even if I wanted to. But we need to move forward. Now please, we should begin the ceremony. There will be things I ask you to do during the Requiem. Listen to what I say and act accordingly. Today tests our resolve. We have lost friends. Allies, and the one responsible for all this, we've gathered to honor him. Some of you question the wisdom of that, but we need to see the Orsimer in a new light. We need to respect and honor each other. That starts today. Even a good orc can fall prey to ill-conceived notions. We need to bury the past with the king. And look to the future. Outsider, step forward. Your help has been invaluable, and I want you to be a part of this. Please, light the first torch. We ignite these fires to remember Kurog's true goal. Unity for the awesome of people. Instead, we have clans without chiefs. A city without a king. We will support these people. Guide them. We must look to tomorrow. Outsider. Light the second torch. It will burn away the past and guide us to the future. Remember the Kurog who was. Strong, confident, a king who cared about his people. We will carry on that legacy, offering help, but never forcing it upon anyone. Much to my regret, the clan chiefs have asked me to take on the mantle of King of the Orson. To this request, I have cautiously agreed. We cannot be seen as weak and leaderless to the rest of the world. I shall uphold Kurog's dream, but I will avoid his ambition. We shall stand together as the new Orsinium. Say your farewells, then return to the keep. We must put this darkness behind us and celebrate a new day.
Thanks for the offer, but I... But I can't. Not after everything that's happened. I understand. Thank you for everything you've done, little elf. I shall miss you. You're leaving too? I can't blame you. I really can't stay around here much longer. Not after everything that happened. Not that well, all things considered. When I saw the High Priestess's body just lying on that slab. Look, I've got to get out of here. If I stick around, these feelings, these memories, they're never going to fade. Yeah. He wanted me to stay and help train the Orc Archers. He even offered me my own squad and a fancy title. But after everything that happened, I just need to get away so I can put this all behind me. I'm not sure. I might return to Valenwood, see my family. I'm kind of missing my loved ones after what we've been through. I wonder if Solgra had a family. She never mentioned it. There's so much I want to tell you. To thank you for... I've learned so much from you. Out of everyone here, you're the one person I never lost faith in. I wish I could just go and follow you around forever. Tempting, but I need to find my own way for a while. But no matter where the wind blows, leaves from the same tree eventually find each other again. That'll be the same for us. You'll see. Courage and resilience in the face of adversity do you honor, my friend. If not for you, the clan chiefs and I wouldn't be standing here. And I certainly wouldn't be king. Hmm. So this is all your fault, isn't it? I haven't been king long enough to form an opinion. I hope the crown isn't as heavy as Kurog made it look. You have a place here with the people of Orsinium. But as much as I'd like you to stay, I know there are others out there who need your help. Stay as long as you want. But as king, I declare that your service to Orsinium has come to an end. If anyone else in Rothgar still needs your help, then by all means you should provide it. I need to continue to meet with the clan chiefs and reach out to other influential orcs in the city. We have a government to forge and alliances to foster. There's a lot of work, but I think I finally understand what Kurog was trying to do. And I, you. Take this. It belonged to Kurog, but you earned it. I hope I can do as much for my people as you did for Orsinium. I will do my best to live up to the faith that you and the clan chiefs have seen in me. Your name will never be forgotten by the Orsimer. We will talk of your deeds for generations to come. Now, we'll find a way for the clans to work together. To fulfill Kurog's original dream of a united and strong people. Your Sinium will stand forever. There's enough of the fanatics left to be a pain in my side. But we have ways of separating the bad from the good. It might take a while, but we'll put an end to the Vosh Rock before too long. Never wanted to be a king. Still don't, really. But this is the best way to keep the clans from fighting or starving to death once winter sets in. I'll wear the crown for as long as I have to. Set my people on the right path. Orcs usually burn the bodies of chiefs and heroes. Mix the ashes into swords and shields. But for Kurog, I think I'll have the seat of the throne recast. That way he'll always be a pain in my arse. Help remind me what I should and shouldn't do. Orcs have no concept of goodbye. We just come and go as we please. But you're always welcome in Orsinium, my friend. I'll be here cleaning up the mess that Kurog left us with. Just try not to get killed without me, all right? Good. I knew you would. I wish you safe travels. I'll try not to get too jealous while I'm stuck here being a royal bureaucrat and you're out there. 
being a hero.